Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 73 in the Sudoku problem series. This is an even problem which I created um, basically on request. Um, so the goal on this one is to place the digits in all of the cells marked with an X, um, and the rule in place is that the cells marked with a um, bordered square um, must contain even digits. So um, this one has been rated easy, which was the point. Um, there is a link below to where you can try this problem for yourself. Um, and I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this one is fairly simple. Even though this is an even problem, the key around this, as should be fairly obvious, is all about the odd digits. There are only four even digits between one and nine, two, four, six, and eight. So these five digits that have to be placed are all odd digits. So we can't place nine in any of these four. So we can't place the of the one, three, five, seven, and nine that must be placed. We can't place nine in any of those. So we can place a nine in the middle. Now we can't place seven in those cells because they're seen by sevens. This becomes the seven. The five sees both of those. So this becomes the five. The three sees this cell. So this becomes the three. And this becomes the one. It is a nice, simple little problem all around the concept that while this is a digit that has constraints on evens, it is the odd digits you can place. And this is a common trick with um, odd even Sudoku, where even though you are being provided a constraint on one parity, it's the other parity that you can work on. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Hopefully that will, one will give you something a little bit different to think about when you're looking at parity-based problems, whether it's consecutive dots, odd even, or anything else that is providing some sort of parity information. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.